Hi everybody, welcome to my vlog. Let me introduce uh, myself. My full name is Lu Nguyen Quoc Thanh. Now I'm a sophomore at Saigon University, majoring in the English linguistic. Today I make this vlog for you guys to show you about my five days and four nights trip to the southwest of Vietnam. Hope you like it, and don't waste your time anymore. Here we go. Started our journey at 5:30 a.m. at Saigon University. After more than an hour to on the bus, we finally came to the first destination, Dinjang Province, for breakfast. Then we continue our trip to Dorop City, Dinjang Province. It took about more than four hours from Mi Tho City to Dorop City. And as you know that Dorop is a city in Dinjang Province bordering with Cambodia in the Mekong Delta River. The first destination we visited in Jodok City, Anzang Province, is the Holy Mother of the Ram Temple, which is also known as Ba Chu Su Temple. This temple is dedicated to Ba Chu Su, who is believed to have great power to protect the locals and also the, to bring in them luck and prosperity. The temple is especially popular during the Bajusu festival, which is held annually in April. The festival is a time for race celebration with music, dancing, and traditional performances. Next, we came to the next destination, the Chashu Kachupu Forest. It is a flooded forest located in Vang Zhao Kamil, the main district in Zhang province about 20 kilometers from Jorok City. It spans nearly 850 hectares and is also the home of a diverse range of animals and plants. We took a boat tour in Jashu Kachupu Forest for exploring the nature and also the two guys allows us to sail along with them. What a great experience. They are very friendly and easygoing too. We took on a bus and went to Hatin City. At night, we went to Hating Night Market and took a tour around Hating City and Hating Night Market on a specialized transportation. It's very fancy and colorful transportation like you are seeing on this video. Hello everybody, now uh, me and my friends are going to uh, uh, no, this is a nice market and as you can see here, still besides it is like the night market in the Hattin city. There is uh, like, it's uh, near my hotel, our hotel about 2 kilometers away. <laughs> and that's it, the end of day one, so now we're gonna move to day two. I just woke up and uh, as you can see in here today in Hating is kind of a little bit cloudy and yeah it's not we, we cannot see a sun sunrise clearly like yeah here as you can see in here um yeah and this is also the the, the last time we uh we uh live in here and now we will be prepared to move to Fuwa. Okay, so stay tuned and goodbye. Say goodbye to River Hotel in Hating City at half past seven. We move to another location, the Hating Dock. At Hating Dock, we take on the full express boat, and it took about one hour and thirty minutes from Hating City to Fuwa Island City, Kinzang Province. And the first destination of day two when we arrive to Phu Island City is Dao Ngoc Honey Farm. The Dao Ngoc Honey Farm is one of the very first honey farm in Phu Island City. 
In here, you can learn more about the bee racing process or how to identify each kind of bees and how to protect them out of nature. Moving to the next destination, Rain World in Phu Quoc. But first, let me take you on the Tinh Hoa Vietnam, which is also known as the quintessence of Vietnam in English. Inside the quintessence of Vietnam, you can see a lot of buildings. They were on the orders different dynasties in Vietnamese history and cultures. All of the buildings were rebuilt by the Grand World Phu Quoc in Phu Quoc Island City. And now, welcome to Fuwok United Center, which is also known as the Grand World Fuwok. Grand World Fuwok is a massive tourism and entertainment based on European architecture from buildings to concept. The Grand World Fuwok is also known as a city that never sleeps, located on the north of the Fuwok Island. In here, there are a variety of activities where visitors can visit and try it. For example, that you can visit some themed areas to explore various European architecture, like Venice with its romantic canals, England with its reformed booths and double-decker buses, or Spain with the passionate flamenco performances. Also, you can hire an electric bike like us to explore more about the Red World Football and also the nightlife too. Uh, okay, so let's take a look on this video. Oh, and also there was a special performance in Rainbow Food World too. Let's take a look. At 9.30 p.m. every day, Rainbow Fuwok celebrates the music water concerts, which are the combination between water, music, and the dancing. The water music concert in Fuwok is also known as the biggest and the most modern water music concert in Southeast Asia. After the show, we return to Hoa Binh Hotel and take a rest. Hi, and this is day three. Uh, now we are going to Ngoc Phi Her Farm, which is very famous in uh, Phu Quoc Island City. Um, this is also the one of the biggest uh, pearl farm in Phu Quoc Island. Not only in Phu Quoc Island, but also uh, in uh, Vietnam too. So yeah. After finished breakfast at Hoa Binh Hotel, we moved to the first destination on day three, and this is Ngoc Phi Pearl Farm. Ngoc Hing Pearl Farm was established in 1994 by Mr. Ho Phi Thuy. He was born in Hatton and he used to be a fisherman. As you can see on my vlog, this is Mr. Thuy's real boat. He used to ride it when he was a fisherman. At Ngoc Hing Pearl Farm, we had a chance to learn more about the pearl extracting process which divided the pearl oyster into two and take out of the pearl out of the pearl oyster which is very shiny and beautiful. In addition to this, we also have a chance to learn more about how to classify each kind of the pearl oyster and the value of each kind of pearl. Next, we learn about the fossil coral and how to make the statue by fossil coral. Not only the statue but also some accessories like breakfast or necklace have been made by the fossil coral too. And also a cup of tea or a bowl too. Also, I have a chance to see some artisans make the fossil coral into statue. 
say goodbye to Ngọc Hiền Perth Farm. We move to another destination and this is called the Simsa Sim White Farm. Simsa, we can taste and overview many kinds of products made by Sim. For example, that the syrup made by Sim, the wine made by Sim, or even the candy made by Sim too. Sim Farm has been bringing a rich agricultural economy benefits to Fulwork Island City. The next destination we visited was Ngapa Pepper Farm. Pepper has a spicy taste at first and a mild sweet aftertaste, which is very effective in treating diseases related to the digestive tract. The last destination we arrive at in the morning is the Kai Huang Fish Stores Factory. This factory used a type of wood combo like at the age about more than 40 years old uh, to make a barrels to store the fish stores. They said that the older wooden barrels are, the more delicious fish sauce is. Next, we went to the hall and listened about the traditional and the founding of this Khai Huang Fish Sauce Factory. Also, we have seen a figure based on the original boat that fishermen use when they go fishing. Hello, and uh, I'm in Fubu. It's about uh, 3 o'clock, and the tem temperature in here is about 36 to 37 degrees Celsius, which is very hot. It's insane. You know, I can feel the burn in my neck and in every space that I do not have the position like this. Okay, so we are now at a uh, pagoda, which is the one the famous pagoda in uh, Fu, uh, where most of the tourists uh, have a reason. And from here, yeah. Okay, see you guys soon. After back at Harbin Resort and had a break in here about two hours, we finally came to the first destination in the evening, and this is Hawok Monastery. Situated in Zulu Hamlet, Yunta commute about 10 kilometers from Fuwa International Airport and 20 kilometers from Yundong Town. The Chuk Lam Hawuk Monastery is built on a mountainside facing the ocean, offering breathtaking views of its surrounding landscape. So, this is also known for its serene and peaceful ambience. It's a great place to escape the hustle and bustle of style in the city. Let's take a look at some photos that I have taken. Last event on day three was team building. This team building event made me very happy and relieved after being tired for a whole day because of the sunny day in Fuwa Island City. Okay, so let's take a look at this event. Last night in Fu, we are repairing for the uh, gala dinner tomorrow. And uh, in Friday, yeah, this is going to be exciting. Stay tuned. Day 4, we took a 7 a.m. express boat from Fuwok Island City back to Kinzang Province. Say goodbye and thank you to Fuwok because have given us a lot of memorable time. 
And now let's take a look at some breathtaking views from the oceans while we move from the Fu Island city to Kinzang province. After about 2 hours and 30 minutes, we finally came to Kinzang province. And from there, we continued moving from Kinzang province to Gangseo city for repairing gala dinner at Ninkyu Riverside Hotel. And here we go, the gala dinner has started. Let's take a look at our performance on the stage. For me, this night was very miraculous for myself for getting an experience on the stage and also that it gave me a lot of memorable scenes that I have never forgotten about this. After the gala dinner, me and my friend have planned to go to Ninkyu Nice Market. And that's it, the end of day 4. See you in day 5. Okay, so the last day in Ninkyu, Cần Thơ, uh, we will find out what we are going to do today. And let's go! On the last day of a whole tour, we had an overview tour at Ninkyu Riverside Hotel to know more about these facilities, the qualities. The Ninkyu Riverside Hotel was established in 1994 by military. About the facilities in Ninkyu Riverside Hotel, there are three dining halls in total for you to have a conference or organizing some events. Its location was ideal where it's situated near the iconic Ninkyu Pier, offering easy access to the Kangta Flowing Market, a popular tourist attraction. Okay, we are in at Skybar in uh, the uh, 13th floor in uh, Ninkyu Riverside Hotel. Moving to the 13th floor of the hotel is a Skybar where guests can drink coffee and take a sight around the Kangkar city with an affordable price starting at 25,000 Vietnam Dong. Next, we took a small tour on Nunggil Cruise. It has three floors and it can contain more than 500 people. And the last destination of this tour is Hong King Temple in Kangtho City. The Hong King Temple in Kangtho City is a significant cultural and religious landmark honoring the Hong Kings, the legendary founders of Vietnam. The temple complex spans over 39,000 square meters, making it a grand structure and the main temple stands out as a central symbol representing the origin of the nation. That is the last destination. Say goodbye to Kangta City and we move back to Ho Chi Minh City. Hello everybody, now we are back to Saigon and this is my friend Tu Nguyen. Nguyen, how do you feel about this trip? Huh? It's very good and I have a lot of experience, new experience and it's quite exhausting <coughs> but it's very worth it. Yeah. That's all I have. Yeah. And about me, um, I feel like this, this trip is yeah, interesting about these destinations that we have been met. Uh, it's very good and it's have a good quality, not only good quality but also good prices too. Not over prices, so yeah, I think this trip is 9.5 out of 10. Yay! And that's all. See ya. See you on the next trip. Yay! Goodbye.